hi everyone. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say, please keep in mind I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your energy group. Only take it if it resonates. And I appreciate the support. Thank you guys for liking the videos and sharing, subscribing, commenting. I really love hearing from you guys, so I appreciate the engagement. Okay, let's get into it. What is the story for someone out there? Nine of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. The World. The High Priestess. Judgment. The Tower. Why the Tower? The Hermit. The Five of Cups. The Four of Swords. Four of Cups. I had to pause for a minute because this energy is so weird to me. Like, usually I get, like, a clear message. This is, like, this story doesn't make sense to me, this storyline, because it's almost like someone sees you as single, abundant. They see you as their wish fulfillment. And I just keep hearing they want to take you off the market. Like, they don't want you to stay single for long. It feels like with the high priestess, it's like they're watching you, but they're not saying anything. It's like they're observing you. There's there's some kind of psychic connection here. But there was a tower moment. It was like they were watching you. They're wanting to, they don't want you to be single for long. They, they feel a connection. They feel like you're their wish fulfillment. And then it's like they made a judgment. What happened here with this tower? Because whatever tower this was, it brought in this feeling of like loneliness, loss, rejection. It's like they're meditating on it and they feel like there's no way to win. It's like something happened here. It's like this person was attracted to you. Like they wanted to, they saw you as highly desirable. They saw you as the nine of cups. They saw you as, you know, independent, single, strong, um, beautiful. It, it's like... Something happened. Something happened with this high priestess judgment tower. And now it's like they feel alone or they feel like it's a lost cause. What happened with this high priestess judgment tower? What happened? Queen of Swords, Six of Cups. Queen of Cups. The Sun the fuck hold on guys i gotta do some digging with this one i can tell this one's not gonna be this one's like buried like the answers are like buried so just give me a minute guys sorry it doesn't usually take me this long usually it flows but it's this one's not flowing for some reason why the devil and the sun almost like someone sees you as a temptress because it's like the queen of wands is very attractive very beautiful very charismatic but in this context they asked about the devil and the sun so it's almost like someone's someone told someone that this woman isn't trustworthy that she's not what she seemed to be so strange because it's like God, give me, sorry, bear with me, guys. I'm sorry, I'll get there. It's just, it's such a weird reading. <laughs> um, 
I feel like this Queen of Swords talks shit about this woman for some reason. We're going to find out why. Maybe to someone that was innocent, naive, someone that trusts her, someone that doesn't know that she's kind of a... She, she likes to gossip or she likes drama. She's kind of fake, kind of shallow. I feel like someone listened to her and they shouldn't have listened to her. And they listened to her. Someone listened to this Queen of Swords when she was lying about a Queen of Cups. And what she said about this Queen of Cups was that she seems loving and charismatic and, you know, empathetic and open. She seems like the sun. She seems like this bright light, like this empathetic, empathetic, warm, compassionate woman, this Queen of Cups. But she's actually the devil. She's actually got all this, you know... She comes a lot with a lot of bullshit. I don't think it's true, though. I think maybe this Queen of Swords is misunderstanding her. Because I do think this woman is naturally a Queen of Cups. Like, I think this is real. This Queen of Cups sun energy, like, I think this Queen of Cups actually is warm and empathetic and loving and compassionate, you know? But for some reason, it's like this Queen of Swords... <sighs> It's going to be different for everybody, but it's like she doesn't, she misunderstands this Queen of Cups. Let me look into this. Give me a minute. I feel like this person could have even, this innocent, naive person could have even gone to this Queen of Swords and opened up about feelings for this Queen of Cups or even like talked to her about it. And she was like, oh yeah, you don't trust that one. Like, don't trust this one. It's so weird. Let me, give me a minute, guys. I'm sorry. Just bear with me. I got to look into this because it's such a weird energy. I feel like she told him not, she told him, she told someone not to pursue it or not to trust her. This could be, okay. So for some, this could be like a romantic connection where, you know, she's like, oh, don't, you know, don't go for that. You're going to get hurt, which isn't the case. I don't think she's going to hurt anybody. Um, for others, for others, this queen of swords could have a hidden agenda. Like she could be competing with her for some, over something. So if it's not romantic, it could be like over a job or over some kind of position, maybe like a position in the community, um, maybe she's just trying to weed out the competition with whatever this is. I feel like this person was like curious about her, wanting to get to know her, wanting to, to take it slow and steady and see what would happen. And I feel like he was told like, don't give her that love offer. Don't ask her on that date. Don't give her that, pos that position. Don't give her that, that uh, raise. Don't give her that job. I think she was thinking and this isn't for everybody because I gotta I gotta get more into it but I think that for some like if this was a work situation I think that she wants the promotion and she's trying to talk shit about other people thinking that if she makes them look bad that they're not going to get promoted like maybe she's just trying to casually go to her employer and like say like oh like you know like she, she's trying to find ways to be sneaky and weed out the competition and she's going to get caught up. She's going to do it too many times to too many people. And this manager or this uh, CEO or business person, whoever this is, is going to see through this queen of swords and she's, it's not going to go well for her. Tell me more about what she told this, whoever this is, though, that she talked to, I feel like is very innocent, kind of childlike, very naive. He doesn't realize that she's a queen of swords. I feel like he trusts her. Tell me more about what this queen of swords said about this queen of cups and why. Hold on. Why the Eight of Wands, though? Why the Eight of Wands?
The eight of wands threw me off because I'm like, that's very fast moving energy. Well, I guess that's also communication. So that could just be clarifying that, yes, there was that communication there. Um, hold on, guys. Whatever it was, whether it was love or or career, she basically just told this man, like, hey, it's not going to work with her. Like, she's not the right person for the position. Um, she might have told him, like, you know, you don't want to hire her. She she wouldn't be a good fit for the company. Or you don't want to give her that promotion, um, I, you know. And, and I think she's trying to, like, tear you down in really subtle ways. Like, oh, like... Um, Sarah hasn't been coming to work. Uh, you know, she's been late a lot lately. I hope she's doing okay. Like she's going to, she's not going to try to, she's going to try to weasel her way in. So it doesn't sound like she's talking shit. She's going to try to make it like, she's going to talk shit to this manager or this person, but she's going to do it in a way where she's going to try to make it seem like she's just genuinely concerned, but she plants this seed in his head that, Oh, I shouldn't give her the promotion. Like, Oh, I, I Oh, like Sarah has been coming to work late, you know? Um, the past few days, like, I hope she's doing her okay. Or, um, you know, people are worried about her, just some, something, something to like put the idea in his head. Um, or if it's like a romantic connection, it's like, I think that she, she lied about this queen of cups. She might've misunderstood something or she just likes to gossip. There was some kind of lie that was told here. We're going to get more into it. But she said, hey, there's like a block here. For some, I think she might have told this man that that this Queen of Cups is a player or that this Queen of Cups has like another romantic partner or she has an ex that she's not over. And I don't think that's really even the case. Because she basically told him like, hey, like she's blocked. She's not emotionally available because she's juggling something else. Or like, hey, she's trying to like manifest her ex back or she's in a third party situation. But it's not the case, I don't feel. Someone was lied to here. And for some of you, for some of you, like you were the person that was lied to. You could be this innocent kind of naive man that trusted this queen of swords when you shouldn't have. For others, this could be. This could, um. you know, this, this you could be the person that's being lied about. You could be this queen of cups that. You have this competitor that competitor that's lying about you. I feel like she, I feel like you're also so I feel like this Queen of Cups is also a very passionate, very charming person. And I feel like this Queen of Swords was like, oh yeah, she seems passionate, but that passion, that fast energy, that's actually like mental illness. Like she because Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back. It's like someone like not being able to take anymore, like, you know, anxiety, heartbreak. And it's like, I think that she also brought that up to this person. She's like, she's, you know, this queen of swords told him like, hey, this queen of cups is not mentally well. She's not mentally stable. She has a lot of anxiety. She's processing a heartbreak. She's going through a bad breakup. For some, it could just be that this person just misunderstood and there wasn't like a third party that spread this rumor. For some, maybe just maybe he just misunderstood something from you. I wonder because I get different vibes. Like for some, I really do feel like she has bad intentions where she's just trying to weed you out. But for others, I actually do. So take it how it resonates, because for others, I feel like this woman is not actually out to get you. But she's genuinely just trying to be protective of someone because she doesn't understand you. She doesn't understand your energy. You're very passionate. This Queen of Cups is very passionate, very romantic, very emotional, very uh, honest, very open. And I feel like this Queen of Swords isn't really like that. She's a little bit more fake, a little bit more I don't, like she's different. They're just they have very different personalities. And so I feel like she misunderstood this Queen of Cups. And so it's like this queen of swords thinks that she's so smart and she thinks that she's, you know, trusting this, you know, she thinks that she's protecting this, you know, innocent, naive friend of hers. But it, it's like not the case because she doesn't really know this woman. She doesn't really understand this woman. 
So it's like this Queen of Cups maybe is going through heartbreak or maybe she does have anxiety or she does have things that she's processing, but she's not like... I don't feel like this Queen of Cups is like trying to manifest an ex back or or like crazy or whatever you know what I mean like I think this queen of swords took it too far like maybe she got like a little glimpse of that like you know this queen of cups had a bad day and she's like oh yeah that bitch seems crazy you know what I mean or like she saw like maybe you you vented to her or to someone else like hey I I'm you know I'm processing like I've been through a lot with people it's hard for me to trust people something like that and she like took it and like made it so much more dramatic than it is and was like oh yeah she's like trying to get her ex back and she's got all this drama and it's just not the case tell me more okay so if this is like in job or career because I want to get to the other storyline where it's romantic because I already kind of feel like I have gotten just about all I can get with the the job career scenario because if that is the case then I do feel like for like 90% of you she is actually out to get you like she is trying to get that position she's trying to secure that position she's trying to get that promotion that raise um whatever it is that that role in the community um I do feel like she's going to have bad karma for it. Like this manager, she's going to trip up. She's going to do this to more than one person. She's going to talk shit about like a few different people that are in competition with her for this position. And he's going to eventually put two and two together and realize what she's doing. And I think he's going to definitely decide at this point, like that, you know, she, she's not getting the promotion. Someone else is someone that deserves it is going to get that promotion. So, I mean, justice is on your side if that's your storyline. For those of you that this is like romantic where this per this queen of swords is talking shit about you to the person that you're interested in, your romantic potential romantic suitor, um, and you're this queen of cups, let's look into it. What is her intention? Like, what is – just tell me about it. Like, what is she saying? What's her intention? Like, what is this? I think it's a friend of his. Why the Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles? Hold on. Give me a sec. Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Why? She knows this man well for, okay, for some, this is like a mother or a sister or it's just a close friend of his and she really actually does have good intentions even though she misread you, but her intentions are not bad, but she does have good intentions. Um, I think that she sees this man as... She sees she she knows a deeper side of him, which is actually kind of surprising to me because I don't pick up a deep energy from her from the Queen of Swords. Like I don't get a lot of depth from her, honestly. I, I don't. But I think that she does care about this man. and I think she does see his depth. So it's either a family member or a friend of his. Um, it does feel platonic to me. Like it doesn't feel like she's just trying to like get with him, you know, but take it as it resonates. There might be like a couple of you where that is your storyline, but like for most, it actually feels like it's more about him. Like she's not trying to like, like, I don't get like a selfish vibe from this. Like I don't get the energy of her, like, you know, being romantically interested in him and she wants to weed the competition out. This is more telling me about how she views him and his path and what she hopes happens for him and she feels like this queen of cups would take him off that path but again she's misunderstanding that queen of cups so we're going to go deeper into the queen of cups just to be sure and just to look into it see what you know see what's there but um 
I feel like this Queen of Swords might kind of have a little bit of a dominant personality as well. And it's almost like, how do I explain this? Like, I think she's pushing this man to be the best version of himself. But I think maybe she's like a little bit too, I don't want to, I don't know if controlling is the right word. I just get the sense that this Queen of Swords has like a path in mind for him. Like she can envision a path for him and this could be like studying something or it's like going into business or it's like he has all these dreams and I feel like she knows about these dreams. Like he confides in her about these dreams or she just somehow... However they're connected, I feel like this Queen of Swords knows what his goals are, what his dreams are, what he envisions for himself. And so I think that she just has this like path in mind, like where she wants to see him in a year, in five years. And she's worried that this woman would take him off that path and confuse him. Um... Because to me, I think she sees him as someone that's at some point going to go through a transformation. She feels like this man, this friend or family member of hers, this Queen of Swords feels like this man is a King of Cups deep down. Like he's emotional, he's romantic, he's sensitive deep down, even if he doesn't show many people that side of himself. Um, and I think she wants to protect that side of him. And I think she wants him to protect that side of himself because she feels like at some point, even if he's disconnected from this side of himself right now, she feels like sooner or later, he's going to go through like a death and rebirth, like a transformation. And he's going to be his true King of Cups self again. He's going to be emotional and open again. And he doesn't, maybe she saw him get like cheated on or used or like she saw him get his heart broken or she saw him like lose someone that he really loves and she doesn't want to see her friend or family member go through that again um because to me I just get that energy of like it's like she feels like he's going to go through a transformation at some point and she wants that to happen like she wants him to stay on track she wants him to protect this energy she wants him to like be safe like she almost wants to like put him in a bubble like and just not let the world fuck with him you know what I mean and she's worried for some reason, I'm going to look more into it, just bear with me, but for some reason she thinks this Queen of Cups would like trap him and take him off his path. Um, I think she's for some there, she's also worried that like he's building something like this could be like uh, going to school or this could be like studying something or this could be like investing in a business. It's like something financial, like career related. He's building something, something he's been waiting for. And I almost feel like she thinks this Queen of Cups is going to like come take him off that path or like steal his money or distract him from what he's trying to do, distract him from his goals. Like he's going to get in his head, get caught up with like illusion Tell me what else she said about this woman. That there's a lot of things hidden about her. And she presented it. It's the thing, like, I, I can respect this Queen of Swords in the sense that it's really sweet that she genuinely, like, just wants to protect her friend or family member. Like, she does have good intentions. Like, she does want to see him do well. Um... I think that's genuine, but like, I think the thing that kind of pisses me off about her a little bit is like, she's so cocky that she presented her lies, her rumors as truth. Like she misunderstood something. Maybe she heard something about this queen of cups or she's like studying this queen of cups and she, um, like misunderstood, she misunderstood something that the queen, that this queen of cups uh, said to her or that was said about the queen of cups and she ran with it and she made it more dramatic than it was. You know what I mean? Like, let's say for example, that like, and like I said, either you could be this man that got lied to by this queen of swords, or you could also be the queen of cups that's being lied to take it as it resonates. But I feel like this queen of cups, I feel like, um, you know, like I was saying, like, let's say that you were like, Oh, yeah, like I, you know, I'm getting over an ex, like I'm processing that. I'm processing that. Like it was, you know, a lot of pain. Like I went through a lot of pain with this person. I'm still learning to trust again. She like took it and like, like this Queen of Swords took it and made it like a hundred times more dramatic. Like, oh, she's like all fucked up and losing sleep over this ex and crying over him every night. And, you know, she's going to go back to him. And it's like not the case. You know what I mean? Like she, she took, like she added her own drama to it. And that's the thing that kind of pisses me off about this Queen of Swords is like, 
she's so cocky that she like presented it as truth. She came to this man like, oh, like there's some things hidden about this queen of cups you should know about. And she was so confident in it. Like, oh, this is the truth. I know this for sure. Like she just likes gossip and it's kind of bullshit, honestly, because it's like, it's, it's not actually, woo, damn, cards fall out. Hold on, what fell out? Oh, oh, just, <laughs> justice. Yeah, she's not going to get away with it. <laughs> Sorry, hold on, guys. <laughs> Oh, tell me more about this. She feels very protective of him. I feel like she knows that he's been waiting for peace, too, and she just, she wants him to have that peace in his life, and it's just like... I don't think the Queen of Swords is a bad person necessarily, but I do think that she's someone that likes to gossip. And I think that that's like, she's a little bit too dramatic. She's a little bit too like, God, tell me about her. Tell me about her. a little cocky I don't know like a little a little bit cocky like I feel like she's someone who just always feels like she's right you know what I mean like I think she's someone who sees herself as very intuitive but she's not very intuitive like I think she's someone that's honestly kind of judgmental. Like she'll like look at someone and be like, "Oh, I can read her like a book. Like she's got this and this and this going on and like oh, like it's like half truth." You know what I mean? But she'll stick to it. That's the thing I don't like about this woman is like she'll stick to it. She'll be like, "Oh no, like I know. Like I'm experienced. I know." And she's actually not like like she doesn't know what she's talking about when she like gossips about people like this. Even though this guy is her friend or family member and she wants to protect him, she's got good intentions. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay, I gotta like take all these and reshuffle them. So hold on, bear with me. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about what she said about this Queen of Cups. She made him, she made him think that she has another lover and she doesn't. There's not anyone else that she's in love with. There's not anyone else that she's devoted to. I feel like the feelings between them are actually mutual. Because he was seeing her as an empress. He was seeing her as like all four queens combined. Like, damn, like she's beautiful. She's charming. Like, oh, who's that? Like, what's going on with her? And then this Queen of Swords is like, oh, no, that's like an illusion. She's not really an empress. Like, it would end as fast as it started. She's got some other shit going on on the side. She's a player or she's got someone else she's in love with. Or um, she's just got a lot of drama going on. Like, ugh. Why did she think this? Why did she, why did she even think this? Why did she even think this?
it's really sad because he was pursuing her. And then he's like, oh, no, this is an illusion. I have to be strong. I have to, like, hold back. Honestly, and what I just keep getting from these... Tell me more about the Ace of Wands, Four of Swords. <sighs> she just misunderstood her. She honestly... <laughs> Like I said, I feel like this Queen of Swords thinks that she's really intuitive, but she's not. So it's almost like she might have, like, like she observed this Queen of Cups. Or she, like I said, she might have, like, heard something that someone else said about this Queen of Cups. Or this Queen of Cups told her something, like, casually. And this Queen of Swords, like, blew it out of proportion and made it, like, into a huge thing that it actually wasn't. Like, she misunderstood something here about this Queen of Cups. Because I feel like she, like, observed this Queen of Cups. And she's like, oh, I have her figured out. Like, I, I know who, she's, who she is. I know what she's all about. And she doesn't. But she ran with it. And she actually caused unnecessary pain between these two people. Because she ended up lying to this person. She might not realize it's a lie, but it was a lie. She ended up lying to this man about this woman that he was interested in. Convinced him not to pursue it. Convinced him that it was an illusion. Convinced him that there was all this hidden. Yeah, convinced him that there was another man. And there's not. <laughs> oh God. This could, you know what I'm getting to? This could even be a woman who does, like, who also does. It. God. Because I feel like the Queen of Cups is actually psychic. Like, I feel like she's actually psychic. And I feel like the Queen of Swords thinks that she has psychic abilities or she thinks that she's um if not psychic abilities she thinks that she's good at reading people like she thinks that she's smart that she's good at psychology or she's psychic but she's not you know the queen of cups actually does have those abilities the queen of swords is like the imposter that wishes she had those abilities and honestly for some for some i feel like this queen of swords might have given him a tarot reading on you on the queen of cups and I feel like she brought her own drama into it. So like if she like this Queen of Swords might be kind of a player. She might have like two guys that she's interested in. Maybe she's dating one guy and she has like another guy that she's messing around with or that she's into. And I feel like that came out in the reading because she was not intuitive enough to ground herself and pull the cards properly and take herself out of it. So I think she might have read for herself, basically. Does that make sense? It's almost like this Queen of Swords might have like sat him down and he's like, let's do like a tarot reading on her. Let's see what's let's see what she's about. Let's let's see what's up with her. Um, and she pulled all these like third party cards and she's like, oh, yeah, she's got like a she's she's a player. She's got like a third party, but she's actually she was reading her own energy. She was reading her own story. She just wasn't intuitive enough to like get out of her own bullshit and like channel somebody else so what else yeah just a lot of lies just a lot of again probably not intentional I think this woman's problem is that she's too fucking cocky she's too if she wants to read tarot or be intuitive, you can't be selfish and read tarot. Honestly, you cannot read for other people and bring your own shit into it. You know what I mean? Like, you you cannot... Um, it's almost like when she did... The, like, if she did a reading for him, it's like she was, like, thinking about this guy that she wants to fuck around with. Like, she wasn't really thinking about her friend in the moment. She was, like, her head was somewhere else. And that came out in the cards. You know what I mean? Like you cannot like just be thinking all about yourself when you're doing tarot, especially if you're doing it for somebody else. Like you need to like ground yourself and really listen to them, you know, have empathy, like tune into their energy a little bit more, like be more present. And I don't think she was present enough. Um, 
But yeah, she basically just told him your bad news. She basically just told him, hey, that's going to end in pain. She's going to choose someone else over you. You're going to get heartbroken. God, this reading is weird. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put some of these cards away so I can re-pull. It's just annoying because it's like, God, like everyone has to start somewhere. You know what I mean? Like when I first started doing tarot, it's like I was, it took me a while too to like get to that point where I can channel for people where I know what I'm picking up. And if something feels off, I can look into it. Like it, it takes, there's no shame in just admitting when you're wrong or just admitting that you're inexperienced with something. And I feel like this woman is a type of woman that will like, like she'll be into tarot for like a month or two and she'll be like, oh, I'm like an expert. Like I'm so like, I'm like better than all these other people. Like she's kind of cocky. Like she's kind of full of herself. You know what I mean? It's like, she'll have these hobbies, I feel like, and she'll like think that she's like, she'll, act, she'll, she'll get way too ahead of herself. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like I said, if she like practices tarot for like a month or two, she's like, oh yeah, I'm like great at it now. Like I'm super intuitive. And it's like, she's, she's not really putting the energy and effort into her practice. Same for other things in, in her life. She just wants to think that she's like this highly skilled person, but she's not actually putting the effort and energy into being highly skilled, which sorry, I know that's like kind of an irrelevant factor here. Like that's probably, you know, who cares, <laughs> but, um, but I mean, that's what's coming through with her is like, she just doesn't, she's dominant. She likes to be in control. She doesn't like to admit when she's wrong. Um, she likes to be popular. She likes to, she likes to pretend like she's an expert. She likes to pretend like she knows everything. She likes to pretend like she's, um, like she has everybody, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like she, like, like she, she can read people really well and like, oh, I know how she is and I know how this person is and I, I have all the gossip and, uh, God, what is this energy that I'm feeling? Hmm. Bear with me. I'm just tuning into her energy a little bit and feeling it. You're just really not humble. Just really someone who's like, like she just, she doesn't want to like learn new things. She wants to pretend like she's already skilled at, every, at everything. Like she just already, like she won't ask questions. Like if she's learning a new hobby or skill, like she won't ask questions about it. You know, she's not going to be the type to go to someone and like admit that she doesn't know everything. You know what I mean? She'll just be like, oh, I, I know. Like I'm an expert. Like I know it. Like she'll just pretend like she knows about shit she doesn't know about. Um... And that happens with people too, where it's like, she'll read someone, she'll misunderstand someone and she'll, she likes the drama. She likes the attention. So be like, oh yeah, I know. I know how she is. I know. Tell me the truth. Okay. So like we, this reading is dragged on a bit. Tell me the truth about this queen of cups. How, who is this queen of cups? Who is this queen of cups actually? So she was painted in a very negative light, but let's, let's see who is this queen of cups actually? What's her actual personality? Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, King of Cups, Strength. I think for some, she actually chose to leave this man behind. So, like, she might have, like, there could have been some truth there where she was like, oh, I am heartbroken over this ex. But I think she was like, because this is like waiting for something. And I think it was this king of cups. She's like, you know what? I'm going to be strong. I want to try something with someone new. Like, so there might have been like a little bit of truth there. But I, I think that it's like she chose this king of cups. Why the ton of swords? It's like there was a premature ending. God, 
this is a mess. Okay, but I want to look into her personality, though. Don't tell... Okay, so that was just, like, go get message that wanted to come out. It was, like, you know, for some, that actually is the case, where this Queen of Cups might have been, like, hey, I'm heartbroken on my ex. Like, this is hard for me to deal with. And I think maybe she made the decision, like, hey, like, I'm... I need to leave this in the past. I need to heal from this. I do want to give someone new a chance. Um, and like she didn't get a chance to make that decision because before she knew it, it's like this rumor was spread about her and this King of Cups, you know, there was like a premature death where this King of Cups like thought she was off limits or that she was taken when, you know, he she had actually chosen him. But tell me, okay, so I want to know about this Queen of Cups personality specifically. Tell me some about her personality traits. The hermit can be lonely, introverted, very intuitive, very spiritual. I don't know why it's not wanting to tell, tell, me, to tell me about her very much. Yeah, whoever this ex was, I feel like she moved past him. Like, she sees him as a king of, cord of swords. She moved past him. She, like, she, want she wants peace. She wants happiness. She wants love. She just wants to, like, be close to people. She just wants love. She doesn't want someone that's emotionally unavailable. So she stood her ground and moved past this king of swords. Um... Even if she was venting about him to someone, like, she she wasn't, she's, she's done with him. Even if she was venting about him to someone, like, she was just expressing her emotion. Or maybe she was just, like, relating to someone about, like, what she's been through in the past or something. It's like, something was misunderstood. Um, tell me more about her personality. I feel like if she does have like toxic patterns or toxic behaviors, she's actually really trying to like do better. Like she's trying to like heal those things. She's trying to move on from that. She's trying to move on from toxic cycles, toxic people. I feel like she's the queen of cups deep down and this man is a king of cups. Like I think they're like, like they're both this woman is emotional deep down she's romantic deep down she's has a lot of emotional depth um same for him i think that they both like they both have a lot of depth they're both romantics deep down tell me more about her personality she's loyal despite every despite all the heartbreak she's been through she's very loyal despite what she's gone through yeah she's very very loyal Very passionate. She's trying to be strong because she wants a new start. She wants a new beginning. She wants her wishes fulfilled. She wants innocence. She wants happiness. She wants peace and love, mutual love in her life. She wants emotional support. Like... She has genuine intentions, you know, like there are the toxic cards like the devil and whatnot that came out. But like the cards I'm getting after it is like she's trying to like, even if she has like a lot of shit, she's trying to like heal from it. She is trying to like, she's, I think she's just very misunderstood. Um, but I do feel like she is a very emotionally deep person. I feel like she's very, she's emotional. She's very loving, very loyal, um, very empathetic. And I think that he's the same way deep down as well. Tell me about her. Um, okay. So this man was convinced that like, you know, this queen of cups was like emotionally unavailable. Like she's, you know, got someone else. Tell me about her like intentions and her feelings towards this, um, king of cups. Tell me how the queen of cups or how she did feel about him. Tell me how the Queen of Cups felt for the King of Swords or King of Cups. I 
I think she feels rejected by him. I think she's a little bit confused, too, because I think that she felt like... Because this is about, like, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. So I almost feel like she kind of saw him as, like, part of her new beginning. Like, she saw him as, like, maybe someone she could trust, someone that she could have, like, emotional support, emotional intimacy with, someone that she would be safe with. Someone... She just saw him as, like, peace. Like, she felt peace around him. Like, she felt like, like she would be safe with him. And then I feel like she felt rejected in the end. Like she felt left out in the cold. Um, and I think it's because of this rumor that happened. He judged her and it, it was it was false judgment. It was based on a rumor. It was based on a lie that was told about her. And like I said, maybe there was like a little bit of truth there, but it wasn't what he thought it was. Um, so I think this King of Cups kind of pushed her away and like left her out in the cold. And I think it left her very confused and hurt. Um, tell me more about this. She sees success and victory with him. She feels like they could be a power couple. Maybe they both like to be in the spotlight because, like, the sun is, like, the happiest card in the deck. So it's, like, very vibrant. It's very, um, it's, like, it's warmth. It's light. It's good energy. You know what I mean? It's, like, it, and, and especially with, like, the Six of Wands, too, because Six of Wands is, like, public success, like, public success, like, victory, fame, recognition, so, and like the sun, just like, I don't know, like these two together, I feel like she, she felt like they could have been like a power couple, you know, like they're both the sun, like they're both like in the spotlight together or they're both like, like, like just like a power couple, like, like living their best life, to, like lives together, like just like, she felt like it'd be like really good energy between the, the two of them, like king and queen kind of energy. You know what I mean? Like they have like like two dominant people coming together like creating something together like supporting each other like she felt like there was like a strong potential for just like a something really warm something very healing something very positive here you know success like that very I'm getting like a sexy energy like you know like that power couple energy where it's like you guys like challenge each other but like in a <laughs> like you support each other you know what I mean there's like that emotional intimacy where it's like you challenge each other and you're honest with each other but it's like you challenge each other in like a really positive way you know what I mean where it's like you push each other to be like the best versions of yourself um like you succeed together like you like you guys get to the top together you know what I mean and it's really sad because it's like I feel like with this Queen of Swords, she was seeing him want to do those things. Like, she was like, oh, this path, like, she's going to distract him from that. And it's actually the opposite. Like, she would want to go on that path with him. She'd want them to be successful together. She would want them to, this Queen of Cups would want them to both support each other, have each other's back, like, have that that emotional depth together, that honesty, that... um just just supporting each other just really pushing each other towards you know towards those goals like motivating each other like just living your best life together maybe even like traveling together like going out traveling having fun just just making the world your oyster together like that's what she saw that's the potential she saw in him like damn like we would be hot together like we would be powerful together um and it's really sad that this Queen of Swords got in the way and kind of fucked it up and made it seem like this Queen of Cups would, like, take him off that path when it's actually the opposite. This Queen of Cups would, like, urge him to pursue his dreams and go down that path, and she'd want to go down that path with him. Tell me more about how she felt about him. I almost feel like they marry each other in a way where it's almost like this Queen of Swords got in his head. And then I think this Queen of Cups got in her head as well. She's like, oh, like maybe we can't have that. Maybe that was just an illusion. Like maybe I thought there was like stability here. I thought there was like a strong man here, like a dominant man that would like 
like we could conquer the world together but like maybe i was wrong and like she's trying to now the queen of cups is trying to be strong because she's like maybe i was wrong maybe this is just an illusion i almost feel like his fear is like because because that queen of swords got in his head and i almost feel like the king these this couple or these even if they're not together whoever they are i feel like they're so telepathically connected that i almost feel like this queen of cups like picked up on his fears and it made her afraid and made her not trust him either it's almost like he was interested in her he was thinking about pursuing it and then this queen of swords got in the way kind of fucked it up you know spread a rumor spread a lie and then he got scared he's like oh she's off limits never mind like she has another partner or she's a player or whatever she's um, got drama or like, like whatever, whatever happened that got in his head. So he got scared and he got distant. And then I think she fed off that energy. I think they're so telepathically connected that they like match each other's energy. So like, if he's not pursuing her, she doesn't pursue him. If he's flirting with her, she'll flirt with him back. Like she follows his lead kind of, I feel. And so I almost feel like when he got discouraged by the queen of swords, when he got in his head and he got confused by this queen of swords and he distanced himself, I think that this Queen of Cups was like, like she didn't know what was going on. And, and so she she got scared too. And she got distant too. She was like, oh, maybe maybe this is an illusion. Maybe I can't trust this. Tell me how she's feeling about it now. Tell me more about this. Yeah, she doesn't trust him now. She feels like, damn, I felt so drawn to him. I felt like this was a soulmate. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's just a karmic. Maybe it's just more devil energy. Maybe it's just another man that I can't trust. Like she feels, she feels confused. She feels like torn. She doesn't know how to feel about this man. Yeah, this Queen of Swords really fucks some stuff up. She needs to mind her business, honestly. I think she's waiting for answers now. I think this Queen of Cups is like I she's trying to use her intuition because she's she's almost like she's of two minds now. She's like shit, like I thought this was like a soulmate. I thought there's something solid and now she like doesn't trust him. She's like you know, I don't think he's into me or I don't think I think maybe he's like just in the karmic or I think maybe he's just it's like something happened where she's like I don't I don't trust him now. And it's really sad because it's like she saw him as like, I don't know, like she felt very safe with him and I feel like she doesn't feel as safe now or she felt very like, like I just keep getting like peace, like she felt very peaceful around him. She was like, she's like we could support each other, you know, be it platonic or romantic, you know, whatever, like just in general, she was like, damn, there could be like, you know, as friends or as lovers, either way, she was like, I feel like we could like really support and motivate each other. I feel like there's really good energy here between us. I think we could bring out the best in each other. I think we could be like a power couple. I feel like we could like, like, like she really wanted to be closer to him. She wanted to like know him on a deeper level. She wanted him to know her on a deeper level too. She wanted him to really put the effort into like get to know her on a deeper level and I feel like, you know, like I said, when the Queen of Swords messed things up, I think he distanced himself. And now she's like, oh, like, it's not safe to be vulnerable with this man. Like, oh, he doesn't want to see me. He doesn't want to know me. Or like, he doesn't want to like, 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 maybe he's just a karmic or maybe he's just a douchebag or I don't know what happened between them. But it's almost like something happened where she doesn't trust him now. And it almost feels like whatever happened might have been just because of like the rumors or whatever um okay let's wrap it up because this reading ended up being way longer than i planned i usually don't do readings this long i don't know why it dragged on so long but let's wrap it up what's up okay king of cups Hmm, this is really sweet. Like one or both of them just want to break down. Like emotionally break down and like maybe it's actually too. I don't know. Because <laughs> I 
because ten of wands a lot of times I see ten of wands is like I mean it can be a bad thing and keep in mind I always channel so I feel different energies from the cards but like in general ten of wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back it's like someone can't handle anything anymore like someone's like reaching that breaking point but with the star after that the star is all about healing Knight of Wands can be like passion too. Like it's a very, this can be a fuckboy card, honestly, but like in this context, at least I'm seeing it as like, well, I mean, it could be sexual, but I also see it as just like passion. So it's almost like one or both of them are like listening to songs that like remind them of the other one. Or they're like, how do I explain this? It's like they want to break down with each other, like emotionally, like they want to like really open up and like have like deep heart 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 conversations like it's like they both really they don't trust each other now because this queen of swords got in the way um and I, again this queen of cups like maybe you didn't know about this and so you're like okay this guy's just he just i don't know what happened but fuck this then like i think this queen of cups got distant she stopped trusting him she stopped being open with him but it's almost like their like inner children like want to connect like their deeper selves their higher selves want a very deep intimate connection with each other even if it's platonic it could you know platonic or romantic it doesn't matter it's not about that they just want like that honest raw vulnerable connection with each other they want to heal with each other um so it's very sweet it's like a very pure very loving innocent energy i get deep down but again the issue is just like now they're both in their ego this king of cups and, and the empress the queen of cups you know she's both both those women um I mean, this is the Queen of Cups right here. This is, I mean, I'm getting that this is like the same woman that we were, you know, this is the Queen of Cups. She's also an empress. But it's like, whatever happened, it's like now they just, they don't, these two don't trust each other. These two are both guarded. But what they're wanting, what they're not saying is that they actually want to be very vulnerable with each other. They want to like, I don't know. It's like I'm almost getting someone who like wants to cry in front of I don't know if it's like she wants to cry in front of him or if he wants to cry in front of her or both. But it's almost like one or both of them like want to like cry in front of each other. Like they want to like, how do I explain this energy? Like they want to like bear their soul. Like someone here wants to like just be like. I'm hearing that song Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls like. I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand when everything's made to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. I feel like that reading's going to come up. I feel like that energy, that song's going to come up again. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I don't know why my spirit guides are like, we're going to bring that song up again in a future reading too. But they are. That's what they're saying. <laughs> um, Because it's like death and rebirth. It's like someone reaching like a breakdown, but like in a really beautiful way. You know what I mean? Like someone just like breaking down and crying, but it's like purging. It's like very healing. It's very pure energy. It's very cleansing energy. It's like someone just really being honest and raw and authentic and like having that like deep, intimate connection, you know, just like to like very, it's almost like a very spiritual energy. Like you guys ever have like those conversations with someone where you're like, I don't know, like you're both drunk and you're just like super honest with each other about like what you've been through and who you are. Like you don't try to be perfect. You don't have, it's not all ego. You're just, it's just raw. It's just like this just raw spiritual human connection where you're just honest, where you guys are just both like honest about who you are, what you've been through. Um, like a genuine deep heart to heart talk, you know, no filters it's like, I think that one or both of them want that with the other one. Like they want, it's like they're trying to hold back and they're in their ego, but it's like someone wants to break down and just have that, like that, that deep connection, that deep intimacy, that healing. Um, I feel like they both really want to support each other too. Like they both like, this is like on a deeper level, like they might, I don't think either of them are showing it now. But I think on a deeper level, like they both want to like, um, like they're both protective of each other. It's almost like they both want to like support each other and like, like be there for each other. You know what I mean? And like they both want to like nurture each other. Like there's like something about this connection that's very gentle and innocent and pure. Um, and there's like a lot of passion, a lot of passion. Now, again, for, for a lot of you, this is romantic, but for some, this doesn't even have to be romantic. 
this could be platonic. This could just be like, for some of you, this is platonic. This is just like, I just feel this deep connection with this person. I just want them in my life. Like, I just want them to know me. I want to know them. I want to have deep, honest conversations with them. I want like an authentic connection. I want something real. I want a real connection with them, even if it's if, even if just platonic. It's like there's there's something here. Um, so hopefully it gets, whatever this Queen of Swords fucked up, hopefully it gets healed. I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching. And if it resonates, please comment, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel.